Hey, what's up guys? So today I want to talk about this, this new DEA telemedicine issue that's going around right now. So basically when the virus was happening, that they kind of like got rid of a lot of the rules for the telemedicine because they didn't want people going into doctor's offices and stuff like that. But basically on May 11th, the virus is no longer like a public health emergency anymore. So this is kind of where telemedicine's flexibility is being proposed to end. What does it mean? Basically like you can get a controlled substance, uh, a schedule three to five, a 30 day supply, but that's it. If you wanna go beyond that, this is exactly what it says. So under the proposed rules, practitioners may prescribe more than a 30 day supply of any controlled substance uh, scheduled three to five. If the prescribing practitioner engages in communication with another DEA registered practitioner who is in the physical presence of the patient, so they have to be in the physical presence, or the prescribing practitioner receives a qualifying telemedicine referral from another DEA registered practitioner. What's the qualified telemedicine referral? It's essentially like uh, if the referring provider has conducted at least one in-person medical evaluation of the patient or the referring provider communicates the results of the evaluation to the prescribing practitioner. So it, 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 you have to have an in-person meeting to, to get beyond a 30-day prescription for this. So it kind of means like you can't just get TRT without having seen someone in person. You can't just do it over, you know, video or the phone. Now, this is, there's, there's a petition or something like that that you can sign, you can talk about it. It's being proposed. It hasn't been taken into action yet, so we'll see what happens. But what's also interesting too is that on Tony's Twitter, there's a survey here on like how many people administer TRT like without a doctor and though compared to those who do with a doctor, telemedicine or not, right? And 70.5% administer TRT without a doctor. And that leaves 29.5% who do with a doctor. If you go with a lot of the reasons like why, it, it, it's kind of interesting. Um, a lot of people say like it's really hard to get TRT prescribed, like especially when you go to see a doctor. I think that's the benefit of having like a telemedicine clinic is like they want to prescribe it to you. Like even if your testosterone is probably normal, they'll, they'll give it to you, right? I mean, they're still going to test you and stuff like that. But still, like, you know, a lot of the comments and especially in Canada, uh, I, I don't know about America as, as much, but like it's really hard to get TRTs prescribed. What's also interesting, though, is like are doctors the best for TRT? I mean, you know, you, you think like, oh, they're doctors like they, it's going to be safe through a doctor. But like if you look at like the FDA approved like protocol for testosterone, specifically testosterone enanthate, and I'll show you the source, 50 to 400 milligrams every two to four weeks. Okay, let's, let's look at this other chart. When you take testosterone enanthate, like the peak levels start to fall at 3.5 days, and it goes back to baseline at 14 days. So if you're like what happens when you go beyond those 14 days? But still, it's it's almost like a testosterone roller coaster. Like our doctor, okay, maybe telemedicine, maybe the, the doctors that are specifically trained to, to deal with testosterone replacement therapy, like maybe they don't follow those guidelines. But a typical doctor, like these are the guidelines they're going off of and it doesn't make any any sense at all. Should we even be using doctors anyways for TRT? I mean, okay, I think if you're I think if you're you're clueless, you don't know anything about it. There's a lot of information on the internet, some of it good, some of it bad, but um, it seems that in the in the poll on Tony's Twitter, a lot of the people, I mean, obviously they watch they watch Tony's channel, they watch other people's channel, like they're educated about testosterone and how to use it properly, right? But I think for telemedicine, um, I, I think it's probably very useful for people who don't know anything about it, right? Most of the guys I talk to, most of the people I know, most of them take like testosterone, uh, enanthate twice a week, um, you know, sometimes three times a week. Ideally, it's 3.5 days, not every two to four weeks, which is ridiculous. I mean, even more ideal than that would be testosterone cypionate, subcutaneous injection every day. 
So a small dose of that. The oil of cypionate, it's not as thick, so it's a lot easier to do as a, as a sub-Q injection. That gives you like the most stable, consistent levels. I mean, beyond that, even more ideal, there's actually a, a nasal gel that you can use, which is, it, it's kind of interesting because like, uh, according to the research on it, it actually doesn't shut you down because um, kind of like replicates your, your natural cycles. I haven't looked into it too much, but it's very interesting. But regardless, there's a, there's a lot to TRT. It's, it's a very interesting subject. Uh, I do want to do more research on it because I don't think it's, a, it's not quite as simple as just like uh, getting the most stable levels of testosterone. There's, there's more to it at play, especially you're going to take it like really long term. But also too, like if you guys are interested in, in learning more about like how to do testosterone properly, if you want to do TRT properly, we do have Enhanced Matrix HQ where, you know, Tony's on there. There's a bunch of other experts on there and they can help you with this kind of stuff. And there's a lot of information about this on there because uh, it's a lot better than, you know, what the FDA approves for like a testosterone treatment. So yeah, you guys can check that out. It's in the description. Um, also too, like if you guys have any questions, you wanna know anything, uh, have any questions for me, or you wanna learn about any of this kind of stuff, uh, yeah, just uh, put some comments down below. 